Hey everyone, Sunny Alexander with Red Sash Group. Our team manages condos that have been impacted by Florida's new Senate Bill 4D, which Florida lawmakers recently passed in response to the tragic Surfside condominium building collapse in June 2021. Today, we are, like, we are only gonna discuss the required milestone inspection, who is responsible for the inspection, the requirements of the inspection, and important deadlines. So, what is a milestone inspection? A milestone inspection's purpose is to confirm the life, safety, and adequacy of building's structural components and, determine, and also to determine a building safety status. It is a two-phase inspection that must be conducted by a licensed architect or engineer authorized to practice in Florida. The inspector will perform a visual inspection of both habitable and non-habitable areas of the building. If there are no signs of substantial structural deterioration, that's a mouthful, are present, then phase two is not required. So what is substantial structural deterioration? It is described as substantial structural distress that negatively impacts the building's general structural condition and integrity. integrity. If phase one doesn't identify any issues, then phase two is not needed. Phase two has specific tests that are the inspectors at the inspection, inspector's discretion. And these inspections will be delivered both to the association and the building official of the local government that has jurisdiction. So who is responsible for these inspections? Associations will be responsible for scheduling and the costs arising from this milestone inspection. Local government agencies must provide written notice of the requirement to the associations 180 days prior to the inspection that must be conducted via certified mail. However, if they fail to send these notices, this does not excuse the association performing this task. Important deadlines. For buildings that have not reached 30 years old, the initial milestone inspection is to be completed no later than December 31st of the same year it reaches 30 years old. If a building received a CO on or before July 1st, 1992, then the association must conduct its first milestone inspection December 31st, 2024. If a building is situated three miles off of a coastline, then the association must have a milestone inspection no later than December 31st of the, build, of the year the building reaches 25 years of age, and then every 10 years after. So what are the implications of the bills? There are a lot of implication of this bill that would be another video in and of itself. But most, most notably, as of December 31st, 2024, an association is required to have required inspections and they may no longer kick the can on assessments for building repairs. This will have an impact on HOA dues and fees and assessments. And it also may have an impact on a potential buyer obtaining financing for some condo buildings. So in conclusion, this new law is a drastic alter, alteration to the status quo. According to the most recent stats from the Department of Housing and Urban Development, Florida contains approximately 1.5 million condo units. Of these, 912,000 are older than 30 years old. So if you are looking to purchase a, a condo in Florida, give Red Sash Group a call. We will educate our, and guide our buyers on making the right move. If you have any questions, give me a buzz. Thanks, guys.